Zygomatic Bone Introduction The zygomatic bone is small and quadrangular and is situated at the upper and lateral part of the face. It forms the prominence of the cheek, part of the lateral wall and floor of the orbit, and parts of the temporal and infratemporal fossae. It presents two surfaces, lateral and temporal, and three processes, the maxillary, frontal, and temporal. The zygomatic articulates with four bones, the frontal, sphenoidal, temporal, and maxilla. Lateral surface. The lateral surface is convex and perforated near its center by a small aperture, the zygomaticofacial foramen, for the passage of the zygomaticofacial nerve and vessels. Temporal surface. The temporal surface, directed backward and medialward, is concave. Medially, it presents a rough triangular area for articulation with the maxilla. Laterally, it presents a smooth concave surface, the upper part of which forms the anterior boundary of the temporal fossa and the lower part of the infratemporal fossa. Near the center of this surface is the zygomaticotemporal foramen for the transmission of the zygomaticotemporal nerve. Maxillary process. The maxillary process is a thick, strong plate, projecting backward and medialward from the orbital margin. Its anteromedial surface forms, by its junction with the greater wing of the sphenoid, part of the floor and lateral wall of the orbit. On it are seen zygomatico-orbital foramina, which transmit the zygomatico-temporal and the zygomatico-facial nerves. Its posterolateral surface, smooth and convex, forms parts of the temporal and infratemporal fossae. Other processes. The frontal process is thick and serrated and articulates with the zygomatic process of the frontal bone. The temporal process, long, narrow, and serrated, articulates with the zygomatic process of the temporal. Thank you.